Akshay Bhatia recently started a YouTube channel, befitting his status as one of the tour's top young prospects and something of a Pied Piper to a younger generation of golf fans. Bhatia has made cameo appearances on the medium, engaging in matches with some of YouTube's successful golf content creators. But he recently decided to start his own channel in order to shed a new light on tour life to a younger generation of fans. 1. Sunday represents an opportunity to produce some incredible content because Badia has the chance to win the biggest title of his pro career. He enters the final round of the century, the first of eight signature events in 2024, just one shot behind leader Chris Kirk. Winning will not be easy, however. Jordan Spieth and Xander Schofel, two former winners of this event, are among those just a stroke behind Badia, and Scotty Scheffler is lurking two shots behind him. There are 13 players separated by just four shots atop the leaderboard. Kapalua's plantation course has allowed plenty of low scores this week, allowing an average score of approximately four under par this week. The back nine with two par fives and four par fours under 400 yards, has been especially volatile. Badia is still early in his golf career, he's just 21 years old, but to a certain generation of golf fan, he has been a star for years. A dominant junior golf career, as well as his work with the well-known coach George Gankas, who coached Badia alongside his longtime swing coach, Chase Duncan, made him something of a social media sensation. Badia was the HAGA Player of the Year and the youngest American to ever play in the Walker Cup before turning pro at age 17. It is an unconventional route, and one that is fraught with challenges, but also one that Badia is proving was the right one for him. His progress was stalled by the COVID-19 pandemic, but two years ago he became the third youngest winner on the Corn Ferry Tour, behind only Jason Day and Sung J.M. He started 2023 as a Corn Ferry Tour member but earned PGA Tour status with his runner-up at the PGA Tour's Puerto Rico Open. He followed with his first PGA Tour victory a few months later at the Barracuda Championship. Winning this week would only accelerate his ascent because it would be a victory over the likes of Spieth, Scheffler, Patrick Cantlay, Victor Hovland and Colin Morikawa at one of golf's most recognizable venues. Badia already is among a promising young crop of players on tour. Tom Kim already has three tour wins at age 21, and Ludwig Aberg, 24, won the previous PGA Tour event, the RSM Classic, just months after turning pro out of Texas Tech Aberg's Ryder Cup teammate, Nikolai Hodgegaard, and the charismatic Australian Min Woo Lee are two more young, intriguing talents who, like Badia and Aberg, are set to begin their first full season on tour. According to Justin Ray, Badia would join Spieth and Tiger Woods as the only Americans in the past 30 years to win multiple times on tour before turning 22. Badia also could become the second youngest winner in the century's history, behind only Woods. Spieth played alongside Badia on Saturday and called him extremely impressive, noting the way he creatively shaped his shots. A win Sunday would make Badia the FedEx Cup leader of this nascent season, awarding him 700 points, and would earn berths into the season's seven remaining signature events, the limited field tournaments reserved for the tour's top players, as well as the Masters and PGA Championship. It also would vault him up the world ranking from his current position of 110th. Badia has shot 69-64-66 in his first visit to Kapalua thanks in large part to his switch to a broomstick-style putter. He experimented with the club last fall, using it for one round at the Fortinet Championship and the final three days of the RSM Classic, but this week is the first where the club is scheduled to be in his bag for all 72 holes. The pudding was the last piece needed to unlock Badia's massive potential. He ranked 32nd in strokes gained, off the tee last season and 33rd in strokes gained, approach the green. Only nine players ranked ahead of him in both categories last season. Of the 5.6 shots that he's gained on the greens this week, 3.41 came Saturday. He holed five putts from between 10 to 20 feet and missed just once from inside 10 feet. 
A victory for Badia also would continue the success of the broomstick on tour. Lucas Glover used a similar club to win back-to-back -back starts last summer. Glover was one of the players Badia consulted with about the potential change. Glover's advice about using the club, which can carry a certain stigma for being a potential crutch on the putting green, 